So, welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today, we are going to be going through the new Community Crunch 270 for Ark Survival Evolved. Genesis Part 2 is only a few days away now guys. We're all so excited for it. I cannot wait for my big live stream. We're going to be playing it in the DLC, finding out all about the new creatures and I've got so many videos planned for that day. Now, if you guys are excited for Genesis Part 2 as well, smash that like button. Let's try and go for over 1,000 likes for the new DLC. Subscribe if you're new around here, and let's get on with the Community Crunch 270 information. As you can see, Evo Event and Community Corner, and there is a lot more in this as well. Now, if I'm correct, I feel like this is like a picture of Rockwell here, like some sort of uh, design of it. I'm not sure. You guys will have to correct me, but it does look a little bit like that, some sort of like art version. So it looks pretty cool. But as you can see, the team is busy preparing for the Genesis 2 launch on June 2nd. Thursday, we appeared on the Twitch Gaming Weekly Show and dropped a few unseen Genesis 2 teasers. We'll follow up next week with more information on the Genesis 2 rollout across all platforms and regions. Now, one thing that Wildcard mentioned is that the reason why it was delayed an extra week, um, obviously coming on uh, June 2nd, is because they wanted to make sure they could release absolutely everything on the same platforms at the same time because obviously in the past you guys will know sometimes pc gets content first and i love a day where everyone can get the dlc all platforms in the same time because it's just more exciting for the community as you can see we have got the full list of the genesis part 2 media of everything that we know is coming to the dlc i'm sure we'll probably find out some more stuff that's coming so i will go through all of this in today's video as well there was a evo event which finishes on june 1st but one very interesting thing is that um apparently the arc sixth year anniversary event could be going live at the same time as the genesis 2 launch so we never know we might get an evo event event to start off the DLC which I don't think actually has happened before I could be wrong there um, but right now it is time to breeding times to taming times to harvesting times to XP and time and 1.5 times um, a hexagon bonus now as you can see this is the community corner we've got a Danonicus here some fan art um, We've got a Tech Rhino concept art, which again looks really, really cool. I mean, imagine that Rhino, like, it's, let's say that's like a booster running at you with a booster. Like, that would just be crazy. Um, we've got a really awesome design here. It looks like a, a tech suit. Um, looks like all of the new summoner, summoners there for Genesis Part 2. Um, we've got a, if I'm correct, a T-Rex wearing a headset there. Very nice. Um, we've got some Ash the Astro family. Um, so you've got the new space dolphins and the space whale, which uh, looks cool. Um, and then this one is called Lost and Confused. And this is the one they used on the front page, which I think this is some sort of design of Rockwell, as I said earlier. Um, and then we have some in-game screenshots of an Indominus Rex, something that I've always always wanted to come to Ark Survival Evolved for such a long time. It was even, the name of it was changed to the uh, Domination Rex, I think, uh, due to copyright issues, but I was hoping that one day we might have seen a version of it officially in the game. Obviously, if you have a PC then and you have it on Steam, then you can always, you can go and download it already. It's been on there for a few years, uh, ever since it was in Jurassic World. Um, but it would just be really cool to see it one day um, in the official game. Depends if uh, Wildcard could get some sort of like, um, like some sort of deal with uh, with uh, Jurassic World themselves. And they said we can't wait for you to get your hands on Genesis Part Two next week, Studio Wildcard. So the hype is is really on now, guys. And if I scroll up, we'll go through all of the Genesis media. There is a lot of it. I'm hoping that when I click on it, yeah, that that, that works. I was hoping it wasn't going to take me off the crunch. Obviously, we've got the Exomet coming. Um, we may as well cross it off after each one. We have the Egg Incubator. Um, again, it's going to be very useful in Genesis Part 2. Lots of people talking about the different types of eggs that you can incubate. And, uh, you know, there's meant to be lots of useful uh, features that's going to be coming with the Egg Incubator. Obviously, the Maywing turns out to be a lot bigger than we expected, and I will be showing you another photo that we have of the Maywing, which uh, proves the size of this thing. Um, and then we have the Federation Crop Plot, obviously, which is coming to the DLC. I can't believe how close it is. I keep thinking about it. It's getting so exciting. Um, 
And then we've got the Shadow Main, which uh, we've seen quite a few different pictures of the Shadow Main now as well. Uh, we've got the Loadout Mannequin. Again, it's going to be one of the most useful things in Genesis Part 2. It's going to save so much time when you go out, to, whether you, especially if you're on official servers. This will help you out a lot, but in general in the game, it'll be great. We've got the Canoe. Again, one of like not the most like exciting things, but at the same time, it will be really useful and fun to try out. So this is obviously something, again, was meant to come to the game a lot earlier. Um, and obviously, they've brought it to Genesis Part 2. Um, and then we've got the Noglin, one of the most hyped new creatures coming to the DLC. Um, it's obviously the mind control creature, and I'm really, really, really scared for the stream when I first bump into one of these because it's probably going to just. I'm, I'm just probably going to embarrass myself on the first day of the stream and um, just get just eaten alive by everything. Um, then we have the minigun, again, a very exciting new, um, uh, obviously, uh, feature coming to Genesis Part 2. Really cannot wait for that. Um, and then if we go along to the tech hover cell, again, something I can't wait to try out. I'm trying to decide right now for my stream whether I'm going to um, do a legit starter for episode one or whether I'm going to try out loads of the new stuff in the stream. I might try out some of the new stuff before I do an episode one just because I feel like it might be a little bit more hype for you guys to see how everything works. But I'll decide closer to the time. Um, and I'll, I might do, I'm going to do a vote actually on YouTube um, and, I, and obviously I can work out what you guys would want to see. Um, and as you can see, ammo box um, here is going to be very useful for all of your turret needs in the final DLC. Um, and then we have got the tech phase pistol. It's got obviously three different modes as I've mentioned before. The stun mode, the healing mode and the attack mode. And in this version right now it is shooting a stun mode at a raptor. Um, and then another weapon coming up with the DLC, we have the Tech Bow firing at the Shadow Main. The reason why the Tech Bow is going to be so useful in the in this DLC is because you won't need to bring along all, uh, all the different arrow types. You can just literally have one. You can choose what uh, you're firing. So I'm sure that's going to include like narcotics as well. I'm sure it will. Um, and then obviously there's the new explosive arrow which comes with the Tech Bow. Um, and then we've got the Carnaflora. Talked about this a few times. It's a new um, flower that's going to be uh, something, well, I'd say more like creature that is going to be able to grab you like a fly trap um, and uh, they're going to probably jump us a lot and I'm a bit nervous for that. Um, and then we have the Strider again as seen in the trailer. It has different modes. It's got the uh, uh, the harvesting mode, which I think is when it's blue and then it has the attack mode where I think is when it's like the orangey red color as you can see there. Um, and then we have the Astrodelphus. Again, this is going to be the Space Dolphin uh, coming to Genesis Part 2. It's got its big wings in the background and it just looks really cool. Cannot wait to try it riding one of these things out. Um, and then we have the new ones, the Biome Variant Creatures. Now, one thing as I talked to a lot of you guys about is this, uh, is this a Brachiosaurus or the, like, I think it is because of the nose, um, but I could be wrong. It could just be the Bronto, but for some reason, reason it just makes me think it is um, and then we got the snow owl we have the quet in the background these are all different biome variants and look at that that carno over there looks really really cool um, all, all of them just look amazing they, even the giga is looking so cool um, but these I think they're called um, I can't actually remember what the the biome variants these are actually called there's a few of them but again looks so much fun to try them out and then we have the net projectile this is going to be something you can attach on to the harpoon and fire to catch prey now as you can see the net projectile can capture a trike so it's going to be interesting to see how what's the biggest dino you can catch or creature with this new net but again it looks so much fun to try out um, and then we have the tech surveillance console that we uh, showed in last video. This is going to be something where you can communicate with your enemies and have hidden cameras everywhere. And as you can see, there's another um, picture of the shadow main in the background, which is fantastic. Um, and then the last few we've got, we've got the void worm. Again, it's the new uh, creature coming. It's a, like it's more of a mechanical creature. And what Wildcard did mention is it looks like a tech wyvern, but it's not going to be anything like a wyvern um, in the game. Um, that's what Wildcard said themselves. And the last three things we've got is the Jar of Pitch. 
Again, it's going to be a really, really cool new uh, thing we're going to be able to use in the game to fire, like basically like huge Molotov cocktails over and it will set things alight. Again, is a new weapon that you'll be able to use in Genesis Part 2. And then the final two is the Tech Exo Armor, again, which is just the new armor itself that we're going to be having in the new Tech Armor. Um, I can't wait. I just think it looks so much cooler than the past Tech Armor, in my personal opinion. Going to be awesome. And to finish things off, guys, the final Genesis Part 2 key art of the whole DLC, basically, that we have been through a few times. Looks awesome, as always. That's the close-up of the Maywing compared to a Survivor, so it is actually going to be huge. And yeah, things are really, really getting close now, guys. I can't wait to see the ending of Ark. I'm not, like, 100% just looking forward to the ending of Ark. I'm obviously just looking forward to seeing all of the new stuff because it will just really get us excited for the game again. But it's just going to be a fun day for everyone. And uh, yeah, the final day of Ark. The story is coming our way. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Smash that like button. Let's see if we can hit over a 1,000 likes. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which I will be uploading a lot this week. See you guys then.